Alright folks, welcome back, and I'm going to go ahead and apologize for this one. This is something we should have done from the beginning. Uh, let's, let's fix our interaction system. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to my interaction system, I'm going to find my base interactable. I'm going to open it up, and in my event interact, I am going to pull this back and I'm going to do a branch. Now what I want to check is I'm going to add a boolean and I want to see if the item we're trying to interact with is interactable at all. And if it is, then we'll do all this. So uh, what this means, oh, I'm gonna, when you recompile you want to make sure you default that to true. Unfortunately, and I do apologize, uh, that means pretty much everything is defaulting to true? Oh man, alright, alright. Well, th when I set this up in the test, it wasn't, so I thought y'all were going to have to go through and... Oh, sweet. Okay, I thought y'all were going to have to go through and change everything to interactable. Alright, well, maybe you won't hate me as much. <laughs> but now we need to update our interact system in here so right here at the interactables in range for the length we want to go ahead and set that to see if it's greater than zero and I'm just gonna hook if it is directly to the interact I'm gonna get rid of this I'm gonna get rid of pretty much all this except that and that I'll get rid of that one and then we want to Get rid of that. So now what you're going to be looking at is uh, you're going to be seeing if the interactables in range is greater than zero. And if it is, then you want to get the very first item in that list and pick it up. Because we're also going to adjust this down here. So right after we're overlapping the actor that has the implement interface on our interact radius, we want to see if it is interactable. So I'm going to drag this over a little bit and I'm going to right click cast to base interactable because that's what we're going to be trying to pick up. All of our items are base interactable. And then I'm going to hook the other actor to the object and then from the base interactable I want to see if it is currently interactable. I'm going to add a branch and if it is, then we want to add it to our, our array. So I'm going to copy that and paste it down here to where we're seeing if the interactable that we just stopped overlapping has this. And if true, then we want to remove it. Oh, oh, oh. And make sure you hook that other actor to the object. So now when I come in here, I can pick up my sword, I can pick up all that jazz, I can pick that up, I can pick up that. And then if I equip it, it's still... <laughs> it, uh, it's because I didn't... Okay. Well, another thing we need to do is when we spawn the gear, when we actually spawn our items, so I'm going to go into my spawn gear function. This is the part where you might hate me. Um, Right after we spawn the actor, I'm going to have to box select a whole lot of crap and move it down. Basically, everywhere you see spawn actor, right after you spawn it, you want to set interactable and set that to false. So I can just copy that, drag it down. You got to hook this up everywhere that we're spawning an item. I really apologize. <laughs> Probably we should have done this from the get-go. But we're doing it now and we're optimizing and you're seeing how sometimes it just... you do something and then you realize, oh, I messed up and you gotta go back and fix some stuff. So that that is my bad though. So I, I do apologize. But you want to go through and everywhere that you spawn an actor, then once it's spawned, you want to set that it is no longer, oh, get off there, that it is no longer interactable. Mm 
then boom, boom, right there. Compile all that. Now, when I go through and I can pick up all this stuff, equip my bow, and I'm picking up my items on the ground still, and I equip my shield, and I'm picking up my items on the ground still. And I equip my sword. And I'm almost out of items on the ground to pick up, but it's still working just like it should. And then now we can have our gear on our back, and our interactable function is working just as it should. So I do apologize for that one. I'll probably put this one bef no, it has to be after. I was gonna say I could probably put this one on before we attach it to everything, but now then you gotta go back again and do it. So all right, but I do apologize, and hopefully that's a little bit more streamlined for you. So shout out to Wild Rose. I adapted your method just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I will see y'all in the next one, so we can get started on some magical ability. Oh wait, no, no, no. We need to fix up our arrows still. And then we can do a shopkeeper so you can actually buy arrows. But we're going to do the shopkeeper in a cool way. I think y'all are going to like it. Because I'm going to make it to where you can have multiple copies of the same shopkeeper. And different inventories for each one. So it's going to be cool. So, Alright, I will see y'all soon. Bye bye.